at first i was yeah. on the phone to my baby father okay start from there there you go right babe. yeah so i was on the phone to my baby father yeah and he was planning something for my birthday the next day yeah i did tell him that you know what i'm going to birmingham i did say that I didn't be honest with my baby father because at the end of the day, it's like if he knew that I was with another guys in another house and even though we're not together at all, at all, he would actually abuse me. Do you understand what I mean? Which he did find out later on. Okay, let me just get onto it. So on August the 8th, on August 7th, sorry, um we arrived at the apartment in birmingham yeah that cobra came put to place his cousin was there rich kid right so then after that we dropped everything off we went back out and we went to go and see birdman yeah where he lives right then next minute now um he done music and all of this so then i was in the car got out he went upstairs he put everything away and then i was still on the phone to my auntie and to my baby father then after the phone came off i went upstairs right so into birdman's house then there was certain everything up i said hello to birdman we had a conversation i said hello to zazi and aria then the two little dogs that he has and then um next minute now it's like rich kids started alive and Cobra Kane started alive. Yeah. About obviously the making a track now and getting it out there and stuff like that. We're here with Zazu stuff. I wasn't in that at all. I wasn't in that, but I could show you the video, which one they played, right? Cause they posted it. Then next minute now, I just sat there with the dog and stroking him and Birdman did give me the eyes. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. He gave me the eyes like, mm, like, I want you kind of it. Oh, it's like, I want to get to the, it's like them big eyes that he has and he has it like, look at, I think Lods will tell you. Yeah. And then because remember he went on that show where Lods did and everybody else done that show thing. I forgot what they called um and then everybody thought that God was pregnant and stuff like that huh council that's it that's it then he was telling me about laws and stuff like that then um on top of that what happened was that um we stayed there all the way to 12 in the morning all the way to one in the morning cobra asked like can we go come um come is there a shops around here and stuff like that we need to get some like alcohol and stuff like that yeah so then um birdman said yeah there's a shop around there so then i went with cobra then obviously birdman's like oh do you want to take my number just in case you can't get into the house so i was like cool i called his i uh, got his number yeah and then next minute now me and cobra went for a walk we had a conversation yeah a long conversation about being together about he wants me he wants me to move in he asked me to move in and he was like i know your head is everywhere but i just know that you're happy here and stuff like that and it's like i can treat you right and i'm like thinking in my head like no i don't want to live here and no i don't want to be your girlfriend and no it's like i just need you to help me with the house in which you're gonna say because you're supposed to go to maystone council and we never did you understand what i mean he never helped me in that kind of way at all yeah my mind was just like at that time was gone yeah i have so much going on and i'm t thinking about my kids as well yeah and it was just emotional because i also lost my daughter at that period of time as well after the court so i was mad in the head these are my three children that i lost yeah for no reason you understand what i mean right i'm not going to go into it right but one day i will go into that right it hasn't been easy right so then obviously um cobra knew that cobra knew that my auntie knew that stormy knew that 
yeah stormy is the one who's been my friend yeah who was there when i was pregnant with my daughter when i was with my baby father and throughout the whole way through yeah i didn't tell her certain things what Colbert did to me because there was so much shit that she was saying that Letitia, you got yourself into this mess and stuff like that then she wants to support you when she feels like it i told my auntie she was like yeah um giving me advice and all of that right then i'm saying to myself like what do i do like really what do, what do i do at this point right because i'm really but i'm by myself and then when we when when we went back to the portman apartment sorry he wanted to sleep with me i fell asleep then um he started touching me then it was like um talk about cobra then it was like um yeah he put his finger in me yeah and obviously he had sex i didn't consent for that when we got to the apartments i didn't consent right next minute now it was like next day august 8th it's my birthday we're going to pick up chowji but first we need to go to birdman's pick up the studio set and then we need to go back to the apartment and all of this palaver and then we will have a good time i will take you out later on to a nice restaurant we will go out for some food i will treat you for your birthday you know what i mean so i was like cool so this is my 25th now so Berman and everybody else said happy birthday to me yeah i know that Koba got jealous because he thinks that oh when i said to him that oh you know you mean that like, your cousin's good looking and all of that he was like so you're in love with my co uh, live with my cousin now you're in love with him now you like him now like fuck that fuck that like why are you so into my cousin now it's like you're into birdman are you dumb like are you serious are you taking me for a fool i'm like who's in who's in love with anybody who even said anything like that like, I'm sorry, who even said anything that I wanted to be with a next man or anything like that? Yeah, my head is like lost. I have nowhere to go. I'm not even really registered down in London at all anymore. Yeah, I'm down in Manchester, but I lost my two bedroom flat to be with my baby father and have a family. Yeah. OK, cool. Next minute now, it didn't make sense. So when the hell do you think I want to be your girlfriend, Colba? Or I'm thinking about a next man. I just said your uh, your cousin is good looking. That was it. And um, Birdman, that like, was the problem. Like, I didn't even say Birdman was good looking, but because I got Birdman's number and it wasn't even that deep because it, Birdman never messaged me. I never messaged Birdman. Do you understand? So it was only a time when I'm saying that, oh, I'm outside, can you open the door? And, you know, even Birdman was calling me like, where are you lot? Even Rich Kid was saying, where are you lot? And all of this palaver, right? Then we hit into August 8th, right? We got there and then Birdman showed me his old plan, what he wants to do for these animals, yeah? Making a zoo, yeah? He was talking about the council as um, um, Cole Bar and Rich Kid is packing away and stuff like that, yeah? Then he was telling us, then we left, yeah? We went back to the apartment, Chowji came, yeah? Then Chowji, then um, Cobra said, oh, it's the t birthday. And she was like, oh, you know what? There's a really nice restaurant that, you know, I mean, I can take you guys to and all of that. Let's go, let's go, yeah? So obviously before they stopped music, they was like, okay, cool. So they like, we left to go to the restaurant. We had food, yeah? Then this is where it's getting embarrassing. So as Charlie paid for the food and took us to this nice restaurant, I went upstairs to the toilet and Charlie and Cobb has been having conversations and with kid about me. Yeah. Then in, I come downstairs. Charlie was asking me questions. Charlie was like, "So which one of you is messing with this girl?" And then it's Cobb said it was me. Charlie looked at me, and I'm like, "Oh, here we go." literally here we fucking go yeah then cobra's like have you felt like you know when you're in a relationship with someone that you like feel like you're fucking a prostitute like she doesn't want to kiss me she doesn't want to do this with me she don't want to do that and it's like i'm getting shut up in my own home and all of that the reason why i told him he even agreed with this he was like if your baby father called you yeah i would just shut up anyway because obviously i don't want inconvenience and stuff like that yeah i don't want to be involved so i said cool thank you yeah i had a friend called sophie at the time 
right? So she would actually stick up for me and defend me as well, yeah? And obviously, yeah, um, he goes to me, he goes to me, the, I, yeah, he goes to me like, you don't want to be my girlfriend, you don't want to sleep with me, I do all of these nice things, and it's like she's just taking the piss out of me, yeah? And that's what he said in front of Chowdhury, right? And then it's like, Chowdhury was saying like, obviously with her partner, she was do things and stuff like that all the way. I don't want to be in a relationship and that is exactly what I told Chowdhury. I don't feel like in love with him. I don't feel them emotions that he has towards me. You understand what I mean? I'm going through a domestic abuse and I'm going through with so much with my children. She was like, I totally understand that. Yeah, I don't understand why he's acting like this. He's shouting in the restaurant, he's shouting in the restaurant. So I got up and I left, yeah? right people in the restaurant was looking at us yeah she was like this is embarrassing like that's what Chaldi said this is embarrassing she even tried to tell Cobra to calm down Cobra won't calm down I left do you understand what I mean right I walked away walked around Birmingham like where I was like near the restaurant walking around there crying my eyes out speaking to my friend Scott and I'm like I can't do this like I need somewhere to stay I need to somewhere to go like I can't do this do you understand what I mean and I'm not working either so next minute now I had my friend to say calm down relax you need to go and get to your department and get your stuff and go yeah I'm like but what money like, I don't even know where the train station is. I don't even have no money. You understand? So what am I meant to do? And then obviously I've spoken to my friend again. My friend Myla, who's close to me, I asked her to help me. She was like, I'll give you some money. Where's the department? Like, do you know where it is kind of thing? I said, yeah, I do actually. And then I call up Cobra. Cobra's not answering. Yeah. And then Cobra kept on calling me, calling me, saying, where are you? Come and get your stuff for the apartment and take yourself wherever you're going, yeah? Or actually, your stuff will be outside, actually. You're not coming inside the apartment. Your stuff will be outside, so you can get it outside. I'm like, are you serious? You're telling me to pick up my stuff. I don't even drive. I don't even drive people. Do you understand what I mean? I had to beg money from my friend. Oh, well, she didn't, I didn't have to beg her. I asked her. She gave it to me, yeah? Then next minute now, um, I went back, right? I got told that um, Cobb was like, oh, we've been looking for you about an hour away and stuff like that. Chowdhury was saying that he only stepped outside and just looked around with his head and he didn't see you, then he fucked off. So I was like, okay, so he's lying to me again. So I went upstairs, he was like, I'll go into the bedroom, he goes to talk to me and he was like, because come out of here when you're feeling like, you know, you have respect and all of that because you're not messing up me. Like, I've got people here. Do you understand what I mean? Like, I'm not a time to argue. So you can stay in this bedroom and think about what you've done. And when you calm down, you can come back in. Yeah, I'm like, you're not going to talk to me like I'm a child. Right? You're not going to talk to me like a child. So I stayed into the room. Yeah. He shut the door. I was even on the phone to my friend Scott. Yeah. And she, he was like, what? So he locked you in. I said, yeah, he locked me in. And he said, come, come into the living room when I calm down like some child. I stayed in there. And I'm like, it's supposed to be my birthday today. And I'm just having a horrible day, like a proper horrible day. Yeah. Next minute now, uh, told you, told you done music with him. He went home. She went home. Yeah. Then it was night time. Then he got, said, then he went into the living room, didn't come back in till about an hour. Then he's like, are you calm down now? Are you, are you being a good girl now? Like, I don't want to bully, like, you know, shout at you and have arguments with you. I just want to be good. You know, understand what I mean? Come on, have a good time, man. It's your birthday. Like, let's have a drink up. Like, you know, let's have a drink together. Let's smoke. You know what I mean? We've got bud, you know, let's, let's do, like hype it up a bit. So, it was like, okay, cool. Then me and Rich Kid had a conversation. Then Rich Kid said down the line to me that, you know what, you two are toxic. And I'm like, you know what? It's not even toxic because he's making it toxic, but I'm getting the blame. I'm getting the blame. So everything like, I even am mad or if I get upset and I'm passionate about something or, you know, when I'm like agitated and I'm getting it out there, 
I'm the crazy person. I'm the deluded person. Cobra's the one who's been nice. Cobra's the one who's been kind. Cobra's the one who drives you everywhere and been doing this and been doing that for you and all of that. It's like, I got you the buzz. I got you the gig because you wanted it. I was like, no, I didn't want it. You went out your own way and you told me about it. You understand what I mean? Then I didn't know what you was picking up. Then you picked it up. So don't tell me. Don't tell me. Yeah. Then you said, oh, let's have it. You gave me a little bit and all of that. Then it was like, you know, whenever time I'm on it, I'm always emotional because it's like I'm always thinking about my kids where he thinks about his dick, where he wants to just come inside of me constantly. Yeah. Next minute now, um, two twos now. We drive all the way back to Birmingham, yeah? So this is the next day, right? The 9th of August, right? So on the 8th of August at night time, when I said to him, I'm going to bed, yeah? And we had a little, like, drink. We had some food, McDonald's, and, you know, we was messing around with the studio. My, We said, I am said, I'm tired. So I went to bed before Rich Kid. I went to bed before Cobra, yeah? So I went to bed. Next minute, now I slept. He came in, don't know what time, yeah, because I was proper out of it, right? Don't know what time. And he was like, he comes on to me and he's touching me, yeah, down below. Then he was like, he put it in me. Then I was like, what you do? He was like, no, I want you to, I want to make you scream in it. So you better scream in it, yeah? So then next minute now I'm like, I didn't even feel like it, but he done what he did, yeah? Cool. I, then I was like, shit. The next day I woke up, I went to the bathroom. I was like, I was meant to come on my um, girlies, yeah? I was meant to come on my red. I didn't come on. And I was like, shit. This is, this is how I know I'm going to be pregnant. Cool. So I didn't tell anything. I didn't say anything. Cool. I was like, let me see how it goes because I might be late. It might come on late. You understand what I mean? So, you know, um, and how did I know? Because day before, before he done what he did to me, um, basically I was having a bit of like red, like red little box on my, on my girlies, on my, on my pad. And so I just knew I was supposed to come on. Next minute now I didn't come on. So it's just stopped automatically. I did wear a pad the whole time through the journey and he was trying to touch me there um, in the car. When we got in the car and all of that, he was trying to touch me there. Then he was like putting my hand over his um, penis and moved my hand. And then he was like, you know, he was getting horny basically. So it's like when he wanted to go home, he was just excited because it's like he wanted that from me. TT, yeah. I'm so sorry. Can I just cut you? You lot in the flipping comments talking about police, police every minute. You lot know cases like domestic violence, rape, and all that are hardly even shown any flipping fuck shit by police. So relax. You lot are the girls talking about her trauma, and you lot are just chatting bare shit in the comments. If you don't want to listen, the ex is at the top. Fuck off. The fuck, man. You lot are actually too much, man. Sorry, go on, girl. Sorry. It's all right. It's all right. I'm not even looking at the comments, to be honest. I'm just like looking at the wall and just getting it all straight. Um, so then basically what happened uh, was that when we came back home, he done, Cobra done his thing with me. Yeah. He wanted it, basically. He was like, I'm tired, you know, let's go. I had a shower. I feel a bit more fresh in myself. And then it's like he had a shower. No, he was getting ready to go to bed, actually. I was getting ready to for work and all of that because I have to go to work. Next minute now, he was like, oh, come on, like, let's do it kind of thing. And I was like, do what? He's like, come on, like. You know, so then I was like, I don't want it. I don't feel like it. Then it was like, it was like, come on, why not? Like, we can have, like, I have fun with you. I do like you. I'm into you kind of thing. You know what I mean? I apologize. All of this palaver. So let me just have you in it. So then next minute now it's like, you know what? Okay, cool. Because I'm just getting pressurized at this point. Like, there's nothing much I can do about it. So I did it. You understand what I mean? I did it, right? 
So, two twos now, my phone ring over and over again. It's my baby dad. My baby, I answered my baby father's call. Uh, it wasn't, it was only short, it wasn't long. And then Cobra started saying that all the time you want to fucking pick up the phone to him. All the time you want to fucking answer him. Like, go and fucking be with him. Go and, uh, go and be with him, seriously. Go and get the fuck out my house and fucking be with him, yeah? We just had sex and all of that and now you're just like, want to answer the phone to him? Are you fucking stupid? And I'm, as I'm getting ready for work. And then next minute now, it was like, um... He was like, nah, I said, no, basically what happened was that obviously Silas wants to meet up with me. I need to talk to my, ba oh, I said my fucking baby father's name. <laughs> shit. Um, <laughs> shit, 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 shit. Um, sorry. <sighs> Fuck. Then next minute now, then next minute now, um, I was like, I need to go. I need to go and see with him and speak with him and get this clarified at the table. Like, you know what I mean? And this is August 10th. This is August 9th? This is Sunday. This is Sunday. And then I was like, I will be back in it. Obviously, you know, everyone's telling me not to go and all of that. So I said to Sophie, I said, is it okay if I come yours? She was like, of course you can. And she was like, you're not going to tell me what's going on. I said, I will tell you when I get there, yeah? So, obviously, Cobra dropped me off to the um, shopping centre, yeah? Before I went to my baby father's house, I went and done a bit of, like, me time for myself, just to have a breather, just to just walk around if I have to, and just have a bit of breather. Then I got on the bus. Then I went all the way to my friend Sophie's house, yeah? Then I spoken to her. Then she was like, what do you want to do? And I was like, with everything I just told you, I'm just like, she was like, I'm shocked. She was like, I'm so shocked. She was like, are you going to tell the police? I was like, if I told the police, would they believe me? Because remember, it's not just long ago that I had um, SA on me twice. Do you understand what I mean? And great as well. So it wasn't that long ago, yeah? We're talking about February, right? So she was like, oh yeah, that too. And this is where it's gonna get deeper in it. So I'm watching out for my child. I'm not watching out for any other people. I'm watching out for my child because if anything comes bad like this, because of my record of having um, things like this on my record from different men in my life um, who done that to me, the police don't believe me. That's the truth. The police don't believe me. And especially what happened in the situation, what made me lose my daughter also by getting myself in this situation it was going to be my fault. So I didn't want to risk to uh, lose my children permanently from my care. You understand what I mean? I had to watch that as well, exactly how I was saying. Then it was like, I went to see, like, I went to my baby father's house. Then what happened? I had two phones at the time. My baby father seen the messages. He got pissed off. He whacked my phone. And then he's literally trying to stab me outside, literally get the knife and try to stab me, yeah, to move me from the window, okay? Cole was there calling me over and over again, right? Over and over again, and I'm like, please. And he was like, really? You've been staying at this nigga's house? Really? This is my baby father now. I've got literally hair pulled, egg over me. I was literally almost got hit by fucking glass to my head, yeah? I'm literally trying to apologise. I'm trying to say, no, it wasn't like that. I'm trying to explain everything. He was like, really? You're fucking other niggas now? And then that's when he fucking get his fist, punched me up and dragged me down the stairs. I was literally, my head is mashed up, right? I'm literally kicked to my stomach, kicked to my side. I couldn't breathe properly. I'm getting tumped up, yeah? And this nigga wants to call me and be like, where are you? Seriously? Seriously, right? No one knows my baby father, yeah? But he will do shit. 
Do you understand what I mean? He will do shit. So it's not easy. It's not easy, especially that the records. Yes, I'm not allowed to see my baby father, but at the same time, he's got the right to see my child. He has the full right to see my child. Yeah. I don't have anything oh, right now. Does your baby father have custody of your child? He will have custody of her. Yes. Fuck. And they know that he's been violent. Yes. I get that. I, I know. I, listen, I feel you. I he, my baby father has right over my children right now. I don't have any. Colby knew that. So if I report anything else, I'm permanently not allowed to see my children on record because the teacher can't keep away from, um, don't know about good and bad relationships and she's yeah, not yeah. protecting her children. So basically I'm counted as a risk to my children and a hazard. So mm. if I report anything like this, yeah, I basically messed it up for my children's life. You understand what I mean? Yeah, it's going to work. This again. is social service. This is courts coming to me. This mm. is the court. This is the judge itself. You understand? Do you think I've got time right now to lo lose my kids because of men right now? Do you want to put me in this situation? No, no. So I kept it inside of me. Yeah, I kept it closed. The thing is, on that same time as I got punched up and all of that from my baby fathers, I even had to call police then. Do you understand what I mean? What made it 10 times worse for my case? Yeah, because they wanted to know where I fucking live. Right. I told them where I live. They were like, oh, so you live at Cobra's house. Um, no. So they phoned up Cobra and all of that. Right. So they knew that it was a man's house. Yeah. I was on the line. I was literally hanging from a line, like literally on thin ice right now. I'm like, this is going to just be reported and all of that. Yeah. So I was like, let me just get my baby father out of prison because I don't want it to go more further. My solicitor found out what, uh, what I was doing. She knew where I was, all of this palaver. My solicitor is the one who said, Letitia, you have no time to risk for your kids. Yeah. So if you want your kids and you want to be assured that you're a good mom and all of this palaver, yeah, you need to keep this on the log. Yeah. So I made a polite. I didn't get my, I got my partner, um, my baby father arrested at that time. I got him arrested. I got him out. Yeah. I couldn't go. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. You understand what I mean? The only person who's allowed access to my child right now, I can't. You understand what I mean? And I can't see my daughter to see her dad in prison. Like, that's not going down. Right Just be careful with, like, talking on the kids and court court stuff with the kids and that just be careful with that and you know on here people will just use no because i'm just saying that yeah, full no, story exactly what's going on because nobody knows the full story and yeah, that's no, I understand you've it. been ripped like i know cobra's said the most i completely understand that but i'm just saying for your sake just be careful with it all and you know yeah um so two twos now after that it was like cobra uh, Cole, i went to the I went to the police, I went with the police, I went to the hospital and then Cobra's called me. I told Cobra where I was. He was like, oh, there's a hospital in Maystone, you know what I mean? Like, I will take you there, blah, blah, blah. You can get stitched up there. It's only your eye in it. So it's fine. Right. So that's what he did. Yeah. And then when we got to the Maystone hospital, my friend came over to check up on me. Yeah, I said, I know him longer than I know you, Koba. He's known all about the situation from a long time. Yeah. OK, so don't even say it. he was like, well, is he your boyfriend or something? Because you're acting like he's your man or something. I said, no, he's not my man. He's just my friend. So why can't I see him then? I was like, OK, you can come and see him. I'll drop you all of this way. And now you're just like, you're fucking ditching me for our next man. Are you serious? I'm like, don't talk like that because it's not even like that at all at all yeah if he had money and all of that and he could help me but right now he's even living at his brother's house so he can't help me at the moment yeah so and you said that you were going to help me with the housing you said you will help me get registered with the council you didn't haven't done that so how are you getting on to my friend if he came and see me to check if i'm okay yeah if i'm okay right then um he came into the hospital anyway Right, I signed up, I signed in, and all of that. Right, then let's wait. Now I'm just waiting for the doctors, right, to come. So my friend Scott came into the room. He was like, "What the fuck happened to you? Like, you look like a mess. Like, seriously, what happened to you?" So I explained the story. I said, um, "Cobra, can you give us a minute, please, by myself with him?" And he was like, 
why but okay that just seems weird whatever so he went then i had the conversation told him about everything and he was like yeah from the guy that i can see he's not a really good person you know what i mean like he's really not like everything you told me everything that i met up with you and stuff like that when you told me you're staying there that i could see that he's been putting so much on your head and i was like exactly and it's just making me so emotional he was like don't cry don't cry it's gonna get better it's gonna be okay yeah and that was just lovely to hear from someone sorry it's gonna make me cry but just to have someone there and just to get rid of that pressure that just seems so overwhelming so relieved you like you don't understand yeah and then next minute now they said oh you need to sit in the waiting room we'll get a doctor to um to give you stitches in the eyebrow and stuff like that yeah so i was like thank you next minute now got in there see uh, my ex-partner is still texting me all of that Cobra came and sat next to me yeah he was like oh when is he gonna leave i'm like what do you mean when he's gonna leave he's like he's just been here for long enough like what why what else is he doing here for you know what i mean i was like he's here as my friend who was like you being serious so who else are you texting who are you texting now then i was like my baby father just messaged me and it's just like he just came out from the police station and all of that yeah he was like, i don't give a fuck like what the fuck are you mad are you dumb so he got my phone snatched the phone out of my hand yeah and i was like give me my phone give me my phone cobra and he fucking threw it on the floor yeah i didn't say cobra i said nicholas because that's what he goes by yeah his real name is nicholas he threw my phone on the phone there are people there i got up and i was like see this is embarrassing he was like yeah you don't need to go through it it's like you've gone through it with your baby father and now you're going it with this guy like it is a lot you know what I mean? I'm just seeing that the way that he act just now in that two seconds is just bad mind. You understand what I mean? Don't text him. Don't message him. I'm here for you. Yeah. Next minute now, Cobra left. He went home. He had food. He done what he needs to do. Yeah. He's texting my phone. He's calling my phone. He's apologizing to me. I'm sorry the way I treat you. I'm sorry for this. I'm sorry for that. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Can you call me? So he called me now. Right. Then I answered the phone. Then he was like, so is your friend still with you? I will come and pick you up. I was like, no, don't worry about picking me up. He was like, why are you going to go and fuck her next day? I was like, I can't do this. Like, I really cannot do this, like, at all. Like, at all. And I'm getting stressed. I am literally had to leave out the room and fucking cry to my friend again. I'm literally in tears already again because of... Um, what i mean as like i've been to through so much already you know even scott would say i'll get you a hotel yeah my friend said i will get you a hotel you can stay there i was gonna do that i was gonna pick up my some of my stuff from cobra's yeah and to stay there for a minute cobra thinks i'm sleeping with some next man meaning my friend yeah i said no yeah i said no my friend's not like you. My friend's not even like my baby father at all. He actually helps. When he said you need someone, he actually helps. Do you understand what I mean? No sex needs to be concluded. Like, why is the word no meant to be one for one man and then not for another man? Yeah. And it was just getting so on top of me. Then after that, um, Cobra's like, okay, cool. I'm going to calm down the situation. So he called me again. And he was like, I'm going to come to the hospital. We're going to talk it out. And you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, it's like, I want to make sure that you're okay. And I shouldn't have done what I did. And I shouldn't say what I said. Okay. So he came back. He came all the way to back to the hospital. He's having a conversation with Scott. Scott ended up leaving. Right? He said bye to me and all of that. Yeah. Then Scott said, call me if anything else happens. Yeah and I'd send you the money and you can go get a hotel for yourself, right? I said, okay, thank you. Then we went back to Cobra's. He got a bit of um, where he was, when he left me in the hospital, he got gayed, like he got like stuff in it. He got the buzz and stuff like that, yeah? And now in the car, 
right as he picked me up we went back in the car he was like we can go and get some food because i'm um still hungry we can get mcdonald's but then you know i mean take this in it yeah it will chill you out and stuff like that so i did so i did went back to cobra's there was nothing happened he's literally pressurizing me right I'm like, this is where I'm like getting tired. So I come back to yours, one decision, didn't think straight. My friend's got new, I'm dumb. I blame myself for putting myself again in this situation, but I should have just like not agree with his apology, not accept it, not nothing, yeah? And just went my own direction, right? But again, Cobra had my clothes and all of that. So I don't even have spare underwear and stuff like that. So I'm like thinking, what do I do? Because where Cobras live, it's like, it's the middle of nowhere. So it's like, you have to get cars. You know what I mean? There's only one bus what travels up and down, but that's really it. Um, but it's nighttime. You understand what I mean? It's like, um, I think it was like two in the morning, three in the morning, right? So we're on August 13th, right? The next minute now, bloody... What happened? Did she just get a ban, Scotty? Ban. She just got removed. She just got a warning, so I think she's going to rise back up. Um, but yeah, um, right, if see. she doesn't rise back up in a minute, what yeah. I'm going to do... I messaged you to, you know. What I'm going to do is I'm going to restart the live, yeah? Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to post these videos in their totality without all the extra stuff. The, the, this live stream has all been about her testimony. I've done a 30 minute live this morning of, of my um, beginning to end. So see, if that message on e IG, babe. Oh, okay. If she, <laughs> if she doesn't rise back up in a minute, I'm going to restart the live. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the boxes and let everyone else have their say. But when I tell you, I'm going to be posting all of this on my YouTube and, and I'm going to be posting careful what you do though scotty let's be honest though you have to be careful what you're doing do you know what i'm saying like this what is you the, like, i'm your friend yeah and you actually have to be careful what you're doing because what, what you, you can't like be careful what you're posting and what you're saying because remember like say say if something happens to him now or 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 he does something he's a predator i don't care but, but it could easily come fall back on top of you do you know what i'm saying Wait, like, listen Hazard, I know you my, don't care, Scotty, my shoulders but I are care. big and broad. I do not give a fuck. I will never bow down to these predators, yeah? This guy, he emotionally manipulates young, vulnerable girls, plows them with alcohol and rugs, and and and, and expects um, X in return, yeah? I do not care. There is absolutely nothing. I Listen, I will die today, yeah? And inshallah, I will go to Jannah for the work that I do. Like, I don't care. These, these, I, I'm a Muslim, alhamdulillah. You think I care about this dunya, Kazar? Brother, I'm just saying you have to be careful, man. Especially where, especially where you're saying all these things. I know, I know. Some I said these things have happened, but especially where, like, do you know what I'm saying? These things are being said, and and like you're not posting like how like the proof of these things. I know, I know. No, 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 no. Her, okay, you're not no, no, posting no, no. to show I, that I these, these things are true. So Let it could be, some of these things could Let be false land. information. No, I'm not saying that she's lying because I don't think that she's lying. But I'm saying you don't know that every single thing that somebody's saying is true. Kaza, listen, I'm, they're about to kick me off this coach, so let me say one thing quietly and then I'm going to just put, um, put myself on mute yeah, and just let you lot talk. The reason I'm doing this is because Kobe Kane came up in that courtroom. He was allowed to explain his full story 30 minutes uninterrupted and yeah, unquestioned. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now it's her turn and that's yeah, it. Yeah, of course, but I'm just saying, she, obviously she's speaking, but I'm saying about you going away by yourself and posting something on YouTube by yourself. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't want you to get in trouble for nothing. Listen, listen, I don't care. I don't care. I, 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 I've been jailed for stupider reasons and, and I thought I like I don't care but look guys she's not coming back so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna restart the live right now yeah so that I can post this whole bit in its in its entirety and then I'm gonna come back open the boxes and you can all have your opinions then okay everyone hit that follow button right now I'm gonna restart I'll be back on in 30 seconds no bye what's, what's he doing, doing? <laughs> 
You've got to give him like a couple minutes, like a minute at least. Oh, God, let me see. Hey, BJ, I just rose you to say you're a clout chasing little beg, but I'm going to leave you here for the views for five minutes, guys. Kick him in a few minutes, but he will bring a couple of bunch of people in. <laughs> it's clapped out you. Message for an account. Wait, is she in here? Wait, where's TT? Where's TT? Where's TT? She's there with the two bows. Hold on. Oh, yeah, I got you. Hold on, let me message. Listen, he's here just for the views. If he unmutes himself, I'll kick in instantly. He's not going to speak. No he's just going to run up the views for us. Don't need no clout off. He's literally just going to run up the views for us. If he if he unmutes himself, I'll kick him myself. Oh, hey, Scott, we don't need views off Peppa Pig. Let me play a song for him while he's in here, actually. Wait there, don't drop him. Let me play a quick song for him. This is for you, billionaire gifter. Can you put your camera on and start dancing? Guys, I'm not, I'm not doing this right now, you know. I've got, I'm going to get the blame. <laughs> 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 Wait, can you guys stop talking? Suck off. <laughs> why is it, why? Oh, it's <laughs> it's <laughs> secret. <laughs> <laughs> it's T crew. Oh my, my god. My T crew is incredibly jarring. D crew, don't do that. I like D crew. You could right, the TT. Comments, yeah. Sorry, guys, one sec. TT, you need to follow me back, babe, so I can message you the details for the account. Oh, Snake Venom, I enjoy you too, Bab. How did G Crew get his logins? Oh, G Crew came in and he was like, he's blocking all of us. <laughs> Hey, I'm too high for this, blood. <laughs> Katie, I've sent you the password and what? username. Why She's can coming I in now, guys. Why can What's I hear Peppa Pig? Thanks for the gift, Jojo. I'm Who's not... What is going on? Um, She's coming in now, guys, under the page. You've been cameras on. Four account. No, I don't know. Oh, my God, look how old my nose is. But Why is everyone cool. laying down? Because it's bedtime. Because it's bloody bedtime. Kaz is pregnant, Torian's lazy, and I'm just hello, me. Hello, hello, Speak for yourself because I'm dirty definitely Torian. One, one out, come back. And I'm dirty, like, dirty Torian. So I told Cole I was going back to Sophie's, to be honest, with all my things. He didn't know I was going back to my baby father's house. That was the truth. And that's why he texted me saying that, do you want to be my girlfriend and all of that? I said, no. Yeah, I said no, right? Then he got onto me. Then he started throwing my stuff. He left all my stuff, took a picture of it and left it in the train station. He was gone, like he wasn't there at all. I didn't see his face. I didn't even know what car. All I know that he was with his cousin because I even called his cousin at that time. And I said, are you really gonna allow your cousin to get away with this? Because I don't wanna be his girlfriend. And he kept, he didn't even say nothing to me. He just hung up the phone, right? He just let me speak and just hung up the phone from me. He didn't say nothing, yeah? Then next minute now, I got to the train station. Mo helped me to put everything in his car, right? And Mo was like, this guy, I knew he was bad from the beginning. You know what I mean? Scott told me everything um, and all of that. And obviously when you was on the phone to me when you was in Birmingham and all of this palaver and the way that he was just treating you is just like, he made you cry, you know what I mean? He made you upset, and I get it. Like, this guy have literally destroyed your life already, you know what I mean? And it's like, would you go to the police? So I said, I will go to the police and talk about what he's done, but because I took the drugs as well, would they not go back on me? He was like, yeah, in a way, but in a way that you've been forced to take it. But it's like, I explained the whole situation about what's been happening through the whole year of 2023 and my whole like childhood life and stuff like that. And then so it's see, like- So just want to clear up as well. He didn't force you to take the drugs. He did. So he told you, you have to take this, take it now, you have to take it. Like he forced yeah, you to yeah. take Yeah, he told me to take it, yeah. Cause he's you on didn't the take it. So you didn't take it off your own free will? No. Only the first time, and that was it. Only once, and that was it. So wait, when he was this is before he showed me it. What? How? Like, what would he say, or like, what would he do, kind of thing? His his one would be like, he will take it, he will take it first, and then when it kicks in, 
he will be like, hey, take some, take some. Come on, it will chill you out. It will, it will be all right. Come on, take some. Like, let's have fun. You know what I mean? Let's have fun. Let's have fun. That's what it'd be like. Let's chill out. Come on. Like, let's have fun together. Cause you've just been emotional. You've just been, your head's been everywhere. And I just want to make you happy. Obviously, obviously that's emotional manipulation, but he didn't actually like, you know, shove it down your throat. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to make it clear that he didn't actually like, but he did mo emotionally manipulate you to do it. Yes. Okay. Okay. To a point is doing that heading, Kazo, where it's like, if a guy keeps telling you every second to take and you're like, no, no, no. Then he's like, I'm on the buzz too. I'm horny. Come on, let's have some fun. You're going to get pissed off with that. Am I right? Yep, 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 yep. Thank you. So as, it, as it's like that now, he tried to get onto me and it's just all about just drugs with him. It's, it's everything a minute is about drugs with him. Yeah. It's about drugs. Oh, let's get an alcohol. Let's get on the boards. Come on. Let's get on the fun. Let's dance together. Let's party together. Come on, man. Come on. I told him when I said no to him to Cobra. Yeah. When I said no to him, I said, why can't you just wank? You understand what I mean? Because he's trying to put us down like, oh, you know what? You're no fun. Why are you here? Jay Dano, Jay and Dano. and he did. He did. He went downstairs into the living room and he, and he watched what he put on. And basically he came back upstairs to me and he was like, come on, you're being boring. Like you're being boring. You know what I mean? Like you're on your phone to everybody else. And I'm like, I'm sleeping at the same time. He was like, yeah, I know, but I want to have fun with you. You're not getting that. And this is where it goes with him. Like, this is what I'm telling you about Nicholas. He, he is like that. Nicholas is like that. He will force you. He, you feel like you're trapped when you have no place to go and for someone to help you with the council and all of that, and you have no place to go, you just feel so trapped because it's like you've been from domestic abuse to now you put yourself again through that. So, you know what I mean? TD, can I ask a question? Can I be honest, yeah? Because I'll be honest, I, I, I'm so confused, like, what... Like, I don't know, it might just be me. I'm just so confused because I feel like some things have... Like, do you know what I mean? No, I feel I'm like I'm not gonna lie. The some of the shit that you're saying has completely changed. Like the other day, you told us that you had called the police and told them what he'd done to you. That he had done. I told the police. I eventually and then told, told the police. Us, when I'm, you're, I'm not, I'm not having asking, a go, you babe. I'm no, not having a go. You're asking about. You're asking about like manipulation. He didn't probably put that in the throat, like down your throat. You're no, asking no, that's me, what like, I'm saying, to you. That's what I'm saying. When you spoke about the police and the police obviously come in, you did. Yeah, say, this um, is uh, this is when I was with Mo. I did tell the police and I did explain to them exactly what was going on. Like I said, I was with Mo in the car. I was. I know, but I just asked you. I just asked you, and I said, like, did did you just speak to them about the, him obviously dashing your clothes? And you said, yeah. Like, yeah. It was basically about that. But the other day, when I when we asked you, when I asked you about it, like, what did you report to the police? Because I made a big deal out of it the you, other day. Yes, you asked me what did I put about the police. I didn't go into detail. I didn't go into depth. Like the other day, you did tell, you did say that. Oh yeah, I told them everything what he'd been doing to me. Yes, I told and them I did that, tell them, that, but that I, I did told him that he had been like, like abusing me, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, and they told me that they couldn't do anything about it. And that's when yes, I said to the other day, I they would do and that. I'm gonna, I will, if you let me finish, Kaiser, yeah, I, I didn't explain fully all about all the whole story into depth of exactly where the place and place and place have been. You know what I mean? I didn't say who I was around with when I called the police, but I did call the police, like I did mention. I did call the police and I said, he's gonna throw my stuff out, he did threaten me and stuff like that. I called up the police again, you understand? Then you asked me about obviously what exactly words were and stuff like that, or did he like shove it down your throat? Then you paused me. So obviously I'm gonna get to that point. Next week now, when I was with Mo in the car, I called up the police twice. Yeah, because I didn't want to tell them about that I've been taking drugs and stuff like that. I had to also get advice as well from other people. So I called up the police officer that who was dealing with my baby father's charge. I was called up her and she is the police woman. OK, so Mo was there next to me. He's in the driver's seat. I'm in the passenger seat. I told her she said this won't look good on you. Yeah. So she was like, obviously, we will get someone to talk to you. Yeah, we'll meet up. We'll get someone to talk to you. I said, OK, cool. Yeah. Next minute now, she was like, I'm also getting two police officers down to obviously Nicholas house and see what's going on. 
and what he's got to say through all of this. Then we'll get back to you. I said, okay, fair enough. Are you with me now? If that makes sense. Yeah, carry on. So then next minute now, um, when Mo dropped me off to my baby father's house, the police didn't come out to me. The police didn't come out to me. Yeah, I, I gave him, I've been on this with the dress. The police didn't come out to me. I even asked if I can meet the police. Yeah. The police didn't go over to me. They called me on the phone instead. I had the conversation with them. Exactly what's been said, what's been doing. They was like, well, obviously, do you have the clothes that you was wearing? And so we can check them. And then obviously, have you been having the wash and stuff like that? I said, yes. They were like, see, that's like less evidence. But it's like, if you can remember the clothes that you're wearing and stuff like that, then we can make it an evidence because obviously, if you put them clothes back on or done something, then, you know what I mean? His semen will be there and we will check that through. So I said, okay. Then it's like, I couldn't remember exactly what I wore or what I did wear because of my stuff got washed. So, and obviously Cobra put all my stuff in one bag. So it's like, I don't know how he packed my things. I don't know if I got all my clothes out of there. I don't know. Cobra just packed all my stuff. You understand what I mean? I don't know half of my stuff is missing. You understand? So next minute now, um next minute now what happened the police called me and they said because of so much going on like you got your baby's father's case we got your case of <clears throat> what happened to you about you know in february this year and then you then you're doing this case as well for the person who tried to help you as i spoken to him on the phone and now you're trying to get him done Next minute now, the police officer said to me, well, if you knew all of this palaver, like, well, not palaver, but if you knew all of this was going on, why did you not call the police from then? I said to her on the phone um, that basically it's just a lot going on. And obviously with my daughter's case and obviously it's like i just don't want to be put down to any of this like it's my fault she was like but well, you knew the risk of all of this you knew the all the risk there's not much we can do and you know you put yourself in this situation we have already did, did, did you just said did you just try and tell me that a police officer said that to yeah because i had three cases open already so, so hold on, T. So you're trying to tell me that a police officer said to you, you went there and told her that you was being abused, et cetera, yeah. et cetera. Yeah. And she told you, you put yourself in the position, there's nothing they can do. Yes. I'm so I'm not going to lie to you, T. I'm so I sorry, but I do not believe life, you. Like, you. I don't believe you. Like, I'm not going to lie. I don't believe, I don't have, believe yeah. that at all. A police officer, no, no, I'm not going to say that to you. They're not going to say that to me. Because one, the one thing, yeah, one thing, Kazi, you don't know me from Adam. You don't know the struggles I've been through. I don't, don't know you from Adam, you but I do you know, know that police officers have a duty of care. And they're not, you're not going to tell them you've been abused and they're going to say, oh, there's nothing we can do. It's your own fault. They don't do that. Wait, 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 Kazi. Wait, can you let me speak? For someone who has charges already, on three different people owning up to it already that I'm already putting it and then the full person as well it looks like I'm the liar to everything do you understand what I mean? no but I can't say in a liar in, but in, um, that is not true of, in law though my love so with police and stuff they have a duty of care so the court even, even said if I made the um, report about a rape so allegation stop shouting. No one's, no one's, like that. Stop shouting. Oh, listen TT no one's cussing you just calm down and listen to what I'm saying what, what I'm saying is you've got to understand why people might doubt things so when someone has multiple cases against them even if they believe that I thought that you was lying off that first hand they still under the like court of law under the duty um, of care act she has they have to take your evidence into consideration what it would be is it would be for the cps to disprove that you are lying or not to go against his case in terms of defense or prosecution they wouldn't just shut you down and shut you out my love they did that was the they did this system well, Tee, can i ask you a question one, one has question failed quickly, me so much over the past no i years. get that because the system yeah? is shit. i get I've that i get that failed from the system for the system. past years even with social service i will show you if i don't have nothing to hide i'm an open bloody book i got nothing to hide i got all 
my court papers. I've got everything. And you can go through it because everybody has said, Letitia, this has been the most twisted court case I've ever been in in my life. Yeah, but you're not understanding what I'm saying to you, T. No matter how many how many R charges that you've reported, yeah, about different people, they still have to take that report. Not, you're not understanding what I'm they saying do. to you. They That's can't tell you they, they don't do. care. They can't tell you, oh, there's nothing we can do about it. They still have to, under a duty of care for you, to, to take these things and, and listen to what you're saying. Even if they think that you're lying, they still have to listen to you. They can't just say to you, oh, there's nothing we can do. Um, you put up on yourself. They can't do they that. Did. It doesn't matter if you accuse they 20 did, people of And that's why I kept it in for so long. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, Kaza. yeah. I'll be honest. Now, if you, if you go into a police station and you speak to CID, then like they're, 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 they're duty bound, they have a duty of care. But like, for, as it goes, goes for individual officers, I've been taken in the back of a police car and had my help myself absolutely weighed in before. And what yeah. they've done is they hit me with a truncheon right in the in the top of the um, in the chest above the solar plexus because it's impossible to bruise there. Yeah. Did you say to you that you had? Did you say to you that you already had three open R charges? Yeah, three open, three open charges. charges already. So it didn't look good. If that makes sense. Because this is the fourth charge that I'm making. Her being on the phone already, it's a report, isn't it? Because she's obviously caught. She's saying that they didn't have the interview face to face. It was over the phone, right? Yes. So regardless, whatever they're saying, he's saying she's writing it down or whatever it is they do. But the police officer can still, like, bruv, there is some fucked up thing. They have made it, they have made it and they pull it towards the social services for my daughter, reason why I'm allowed to see, I also have access to my daughter, but it's been permanently stopped now. Even though in the court papers, by law, that I can see my child, they have stopped that. Because they gave out a, um, a different order to the aunt who's looking after my child now. She has a different order to what me and my baby father order it has. So they complain about the duty of care they give you in it. Like, I know obviously you're in a in a bit of a shit situation, like mentally and stuff now, so you're not in the best headspace. When you are feeling better, like if that was the case with them, you can complain to the IPCC on how they treat you, especially if it's such like a problem. I literally case. stopped, you know, because to be honest, yeah, like through my whole childhood experience, to now, to everything, I've just been putting the blame on him, on myself. And I tell you now, and I tell you now, to be honest, I don't want to be here. On, on my children, so I don't want to be here. The only reason why I've been here because I don't want people to call me selfish and to call me that I'm a pathetic mother. Do you understand what I mean? Why oh, I, yeah. kill someone? I, get, I get that 100%. Because I've been through so much. I've got paperwork to show you guys. I can show you. I have nothing to hide. I have nothing to hide. Since I got pregnant at the age of 19, I have nothing to hide. I've hey. been fighting for hey. this court case. I've been fighting for my children case. We've fighting for my life to have justice in my life because of the way I've been treated. And all I get to say, and all everybody got to say, Letitia, you brought it on yourself. Hey. Even my auntie has said that. Listen to you me. You can't bring nothing like that on yourself, I'll be real. It's, it's, my, fault being abused. it's my fault for getting abused. It's my fault for getting sexual harassment. It is my fault. Okay, it is my fault. I'm I got sorry. that. Uh, can I say something? Listen, it's not your fault, yeah. Um, so mm. don't let anyone tell you. Tell that to my um, kids. Tell that to my kids. It's Tom. not your fault, babe. Don't don't tell do that, that to my kids because they're gonna read these paperwork as they get older. I am suffering. I've got a baby brother who's not in this child's life. Do you understand what I mean? I'm putting down to report to social services that um I wanted I wanted her to get rid of her um this child. My child had to read that. My other child is two, uh, is um, my second child is with my other baby father, who are also been domestic abuse on me, but still allowed him to have access, a full access to my child. Then my third one, my third one, I don't think I can ever see my daughter again after this day. Do you know how much upsetting that is? And I had to wait 18 years. <laughs> Because of this, of being on my chest, but being guys, 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 so guys, 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 listen, 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 please, everyone, listen to me really quickly, yeah. So what this was is this was Kobe Kane that got to have his whole say interrupted. This was now her chance to have her say interrupted. Okay, and we've done that. What I'm going to do right now is going to end the live. Okay, now at ten o'clock tonight, the same time that the 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 the, the court's on. 
I'm going to run another segment and everyone's invited to come back and we can have our opinions on it. But I feel like TT's are very emotional right now. I'm writing yeah, so. Yeah, I agree. I agree. So, Quick, I'm, I'm going to end something. it now. I'm sorry. You can, can message me. I will something? send you all the paperwork if you want it. I, I don't, don't care. Like, I'm an open yeah, don't, don't send, send the thing nothing. to anyone. Don't send anything listen, to anyone. Don't speak yeah. to no one. L- l- listen, we're, we're going to carry this on at 10 o'clock tonight, okay? So, like, that, TT, my advice to you is just go and put your feet up, go and chill as much, and relax yeah. as much as you can, yeah? It's been a very stressful morning for you. No, Fair play to you for coming up no, Do me a favour guys, everyone hit that follow button for me and 10 o'clock tonight we go again. Now in between now and 10 o'clock, I'm going to post the video of me speaking about what, what's happened in my from my perspective since Cobra Kane came in the court yeah. up until before this live stream. And I'm also going to post, post this live stream um, in 10 minute um, segments so that it's all out there for everyone to see. You can all watch it and everyone can come back tonight at 10 o'clock with an educated, formed um, opinion based on everything that's said, not people that have come in on their last little segments, okay? So yeah. guys, please hit the follow button and I'll see you all at 10 o'clock tonight. I'm just getting off the coach. I'm going to see my family. I haven't seen them in a month and I'm so, I just need to go and see my, 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 my family, man. But 10 o'clock tonight, guys, I'll see you all again, okay? Thank you, Scott, Thank you all for coming up.